What's up, y'all? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's everyone doing? Welcome back to another episode of Live With Purpose. Live streams here live. What's up, baby? What y'all up to? What y'all up to? I don't think my sounds work. <laughs> my sound effects. Oh, no. Anyway. What y'all up to? Hi, tight EDC first up. Not notification squad. Stand up. Chris Valadez first. I mean, y'all are first. Y'all are here in the chat before it begins. So, hell yeah, hell yeah. Hopefully y'all can hear me and stuff. Trev, EDC Navantool says, Ron, what's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Always a good day seeing that smile, says Ian Coates. You too, sir. You too, good sir. Good to see you. You pimpy says, party popping already. That's how we do it. That's how we do it here. That's how we do it here. Good to see you guys. David Hurst says, trying to make it to the video late white late week nights are difficult. Ah, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. We used to run Friday nights, which was prime time, but I think like just for the sake of the family and everything, like you know, Friday nights are, are when we do our dinners and whatnot. So, I think uh, Wednesday nights is just it's just easier. It, it makes more sense for me personally, and I want to do it consistently and be able to deliver exciting late night content for you guys. I mean, it's not so late; it's still light out uh, right now. But the last two weeks been going at 8 p.m. onwards PDT. So, uh, you know, we've been we've been getting rambunctious in the chat on those late nights. So we'll, we'll see how today is. You guys staying hydrated? I sure am. With this everyday minimalist, all American maker. You know what's funny? He made it to my Brendan's. One of the Brendan's told me that it's all American maker, which is A A M. But I've just been saying A M A just because you know on Reddit there's ask me anything, and then also A M A just rolls off the tongue nicer. So I'm just like all American maker A M A. What's up, man? And it's actually A A M. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Brendan's in the chat right now. I'm sorry, man. I ain't trying to do that to you, but. Uh, it just, it just, that was what flowed naturally. Chris Valdez says, sub you pimpy Ian Coates, ADC knife and tool, all the mainstays, all the regulars in the house tonight. I hope you guys are doing well. This is our 30th live stream, believe it or not. Who knew? 30 weeks. I mean, I know there's been a little bit of back and forth, but this is 30. This is the 30th consecutive live stream here on the channel, and I don't know. I, I kind of want to look at what live stream number one looked like. <laughs> compared to this one I feel like we've we've ironed out a few kinks maybe made him look a little set a little, little better you know what I mean here we go Luke EDC says what up y'all how's it going what's up Luke haven't seen you in a minute how you doing man good to see you good to see you <laughs> Trev says we run deep yes we do yes we do you pimpy asks if we should thumbs down for Ron making us wait seven minutes are you kidding I started right on time baby what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean let me see if this works real quick Oh, that's why. Okay, we, we're gonna fix the sound. I'm gonna fix the sound real quick. At least the SFX. The sound effects. Because I want to make sure I can uh, do some DJ horns or some call, call somebody out if they're messing around like you pimpy. Yeah, he says JK, JK. All right, I forgive you. I forgive you this time, sir. <sighs> what are you guys up to tonight? Midweek. How's everyone's week going? Purpose Fit Challenge. It's middle of week two. How are you guys feeling? Are you guys keeping up with your health goals, your nutrition goals? I know I've been trying, you know, I'm not perfect. I had a homemade fried chicken, soy sauce, honey, garlic, uh, chicken thighs this weekend, and it was hella good. But, you know, of course, you know, I count for that with the macros and making sure net deficit and all that good stuff. Worked, uh, did cardio day today. Went out to the backyard, hit some balls, golf balls. Isaiah Barnett says, let's go. Barbarian Brawny, Mikey, says, what up, homies? What's up, Mikey? What's up, Mikey? Is Ian Phytonics in the house? He is! Says, what's on the menu tonight, Ron? Well, I got a little something right here that I wanted to share with the masses. Ian Phytonics, this should look familiar. Now, when I released my Live With Purpose V1, this little guy right here, one point that I wanted to come across real quick, real fast, is that I want it to be an experience opening the thing. You know what I mean? I don't want it to just be, oh, this is an RE in a plastic baggie. Here you go. Done deal. Enjoy the patch. I wanted it to be an experience opening it up, checking things out, and, you know, really allowing you to enjoy the unboxing experience and then the reveal and then enjoying the RE thereafter. Well, even Mr. Phytonics has released this guy and I think it's like the first in a series and I think there's four possible runs or something like that you overcomplicated things a little bit but I know you wanted to make it exciting for people so this is I believe his escape 
variant. And there's a, there's a few colorways. I feel like this is the grayed out one, but he leaves some loot field, some all, uh, let's see. He leaves some black, I think it's monochrome. It's not necessarily blackout, but it's a gray scale. It's monochrome. And he leaves it right up front for you to enjoy. And then there's a drawstring bag. And you go in, you open it up, and there's, I mean, it's upside down, but look. It's a glass bottle, a glass vial of mystery in good times. Pop the cork, and it's not cork. It's actually a wooden lid. He made sure to, to note to me that it's not cork because cork was harder to work with. But this, with a little silicone gasket right here, was easy to seal. In goes the RE's. Got a few more in here. Ugh. Man, you really, you really got the diameter of that glass vial down pat. And we got these two additions. Looks like we got the sunrise, the dawn, and the sunset. It's pretty cool. We've got some synth waves, retro wave vibes going on here, the escape series. And of course, I think there's a chase involved somewhere. I think there's one more. So we got the nighttime, we got daytime, and then we've got that dusk looking feel, twilight looking feel. Let me know if I'm getting all these uh, details wrong, Mr. Ian Phytonics, but he is dropping that real soon. Check him out on Instagram, Mr. Phytonics, at Phytonics, and he's releasing a lot of this stuff. So thank you for sending these out. I just wanted to comment on the awesome, like glass vial, and you got the slap on there, escape with Phytonics, really cool, man. I can definitely tell you've been paying attention to it and sort of upgrading the experience a lot. So for that, sir, I commend you for sure. And you know, at this point, it's just iterations, you know, just keep going through it. I can't tell you how many iterations I went through with the RE design before I even sent it off to anybody to see, to get feedback on, and ultimately to get it made. Like the, uh, I don't even know I have it on me. Yeah, Ugh. Right there in the center there on the data crew snack time black right there. Uh, there it is. Like it took a while to get all that design down and it had to make sense too. You know, the levels are different. The 3D, the tooling is different. I mean, I didn't tool them myself. I had my manufacturer make it for me, but yeah, man, I'm really proud of this one. And um, we, got, we got a few things in the works. A few things in the works, can't say anything. Just yet <laughs> But uh, it should be good. It should be good. Okay. I miss a lot. I miss a lot But mr. Phytonics, I wanted to give you the attention you deserve. So thank you for that. Thank you for sending that out I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed that little live unboxing As soon as I get my damn panel to work, maybe I can get some noise effects up in here uh, Let's see everyone's giving Chris the what's up Chris house of blades. How are you doing use code purpose save a little bit of cash on your checkout they're doing a lot of big moves. They're making a lot of big moves. And I really like that House of Blades is working with like a lot of different creators too. Like I just recently heard Mikey Daily Carry is now a partner with House of Blades. Congrats to Mikey Daily Carry. Is he in the house? I don't know if he is. Waka pow, Mr. Messina. Proud of you, man. You've come a long way. You've come a long way. Crispy Donut Community, one of the best bottles on the market, says Crispy Donut Community. Have you checked them out already? Have you kind of, have you messed with it yourself? I haven't seen like a lot of your products and whether you were messing around with it or anything, but uh, let's see. All American Maker says, ha it's funny now, referring to AMA, yeah. Ian Coates says, can we have KMAs, quack me anything, what? <laughs> what does that even mean? I can't tell if that's provocative or, or if that's just like, I, I, coming from a good place? I don't know. You Pimpy says, you want me, you make me want to get back into live streaming. You should, man. You should. It's a fun time, dude. The reason why I'm doing it is because, you know, I've noticed that with the EDC community, it's exactly what it is, community, right? And I can only say and do so much with you guys from this side of the camera. And although it is important to constantly and consistently create long form, short form, all that stuff for you guys to digest, you know, I'm over here just shooting and editing and uploading. But I want to actually interact with you guys, get some feedback, see what's working, what's not, and, you know, hopefully become a better pers person for it, making better videos for you guys. So that's why I'm doing this, you know? And honestly, man, I, I thank Brandon EDM for getting me into live streaming, because live streaming for me was actually very intimidating. But I've noticed that, like, you know, with the, getting the reps in and then just getting the right setups, you know what I mean? I'm using Streamlabs desktop. I'm using a few panels here that I never would have thought to, to go out and get otherwise. Like now that I've done all that, it makes more sense. Like it's it's easier now and I'm, I'm getting better with 
improvising as well. Like, you know, pressing some buttons or muting or unmuting when things happen. Reacting to you guys. I think I'm getting better, but it's always room to glow. Blasto in the house. Blasto Supreme says, Ahoy, Ron. What's up, Blasto? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Will this work now? Will this work now? Yes. The soundboard works, baby. Thank God. Hey, Mike and Ice EDC, a new member. Welcome to the Purpose Crew, man. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming through. I hope you enjoy those exclusive emotes you can now use in the chat. Throw them up in the chat real quick. Let me see all y'all doing the thing. Let's go. Isaiah Barnett knows what's up. The thumbs up. The live with purpose. Do it all. Do it all. <laughs> I heard there was some sort of kissing party. Is this the wrong place? Is Ian Coates? I think you're in the wrong spot, homie. I think, I think, I think you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> I, if there was a kissing party, I was not aware. I was not aware. <laughs> uh, let's see. He says, I'm still here. Oh, Mike and Ike says, I'm still here. Name change from Mike and Ike 00 to Mike and Ike's EDC to match my Instagram shameless plug. Hey, no worries, man. Check out Mike and Ike. Mike and Ike's EDC. Is there a space or an underscore for your Instagram? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got Taylor in the house. What's he saying? I'm making an RE of the Photoshop I, of you I made. <laughs> Do it. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Challenge accepted? Let me see it. Bring it to Blade West. Please. Bring it to Blade West. I will gladly rock it. <laughs> uh, where, you pimp says, Ron, can you send me the glow in the dark one, please? Which glow in the dark one? Are you talking about... Are you talking about on these Phytonics uh, REs? These are mine. These are mine, homie. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna stress. I'm not gonna stress about these. Oh my goodness. Lowe's from Datacrew just sent me a, a picture of something. And uh, I'm not sure if I can show it to you. I probably... I, I won't until I get the go-ahead, but... Oh my... Oh, that's dope. Lowe's, if you're in the house, if you're watching... Wow. You, you're gonna have to send me that. Oh my goodness. Catalyst EDC says fire. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Barbarian Bronny says drop today. Uh, drop today, Ron. Are you talking about Phytonics drop? Okay, if it's dropping today, definitely head over to Instagram. Head over to his Instagram. Sorry. Bruh. <laughs> and uh, definitely check it out. It is a cool RE, and I love that there are different stylings involved. So definitely check that out. Vaporwave, there you go. Blasto says, reminds me of Mondrag Glory Dominus, but in Vaporwave. There you go. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Unboxing experience on top. Okay, that that was an unboxing experience, but we got an actual thing to unbox here. I'll go ahead and get that get that rocking right now. Dude, when I started live streaming, I had a clean, minimal desk setup, okay? And now I've got like live streaming stuff here knives lined up here more knives over here we got a pen we got an aluminum ballet song trainer we got flash lights <laughs> we've got the brick we've got the brick any of you guys see the instagram reel i posted today we got the brick of this 12,000 lumen monstrosity uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show it just yet we'll talk about that but yeah hydration <laughs> it's too much stuff there's too much stuff Cold gear related member for six months. It's crazy how time flies. Six months. Oh my God, it's been half a year already. That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. And I have you guys to thank for being over here and supporting me and watching these things, watching these live streams, just me fumbling around with things. I appreciate it, y'all, seriously. And if there's anything I can do to, to up the experience for you guys, please let me know. You know, I'm just doing this for funsies. And, uh, I mean, it, I am doing it for, for, I am a full-time creator. So it is, you know, providing a roof over my head and providing me meals on the table as well. But, you know, it's how you go about it, you know, it's how you go about it. EDC Knife and Tool Trev says half a year and still here. I don't take no shit oh, from Oh, wait, <laughs> that's not what it meant. <laughs> Thank you, man. I know you don't take any shit from anybody because you're a die-hard fan of this channel And if anyone says otherwise, you don't take shit, no shit from nobody <laughs> Just when I got done saying I was great at improvising and, and 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 pushing the things I'm not I'm not <laughs> 
Blasto says, Ron, Neo Tactical sent the Tactical Boy out today. Sorry it took longer than expected. Dave had some unexpected stuff happen. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. When it arrives on the desk, we'll go ahead and take a look. First option or first piece of content in the Urban EDC box. I don't know if y'all know that logo. You know where this is from? These are from the good folks over at EMP EDC. And in the box, we've got some things. We've got some microfibers. We've got some slaps. Several slaps, actually. The person who got this before me, though, didn't put it away very nicely and kind of crimped the hell out of the slaps, though. I don't know who it is, but whoever it is, I feel like you'll know. I feel like you'll know. And, uh, shame on you. <laughs> shame on you. Because we're sitting at the same table, y'all. Whoever got this before me to review and stuff. Shame on you. Here. This is the Nimble T. Seigaiha edition. Look at that. Is that G10? No, this is titanium. Like, oh my god, everybody is sounding off with their six months. Oh my god. Ian says, half a year, get out of here. Nice rhyme. Did you do that on purpose? Glad to have you as a shooter in my corner. Much, much, much love, Ron. You're good people. Thank you, Ian. You are good people. And I appreciate you being around for so long, man. Seriously. Like, I hope you're enjoying the live streams. I hope this is a pleasant space for you. And I hope you get comfortable. Marine X in the house with the $50 super chat says, I'll take the mantle as live stream sponsor, LOL. Let me get two sounds for the sound port and take a shot of water. All right. I don't take Boom. No shit from anyone. Boom. And that DJ horn is is in your honor because of all the uh, stripper club vibes that we get over on your live stream, man. <laughs> I think that was a double shot of water. But uh, that was uh, cheers to you and your dancing Bettys, man. Bouncing Bettys. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. Luke EDC says, we made it, homie. Six month is crazy, and he's an enthusiast tier member. What's up, Luke? My God. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. And we just in the first half. We just at the six month mark. We bet money we're going to have things to follow. We're going to have things to come. The holiday season is right around us. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. The Weavers of Eternity Paracord is in the house. He says, at best damn edc taylor martin hey taylor been watching you since the mod days dude speaking of which weavers of eternity i've been watching him for the longest time he specializes in all the knots all the lanyard the paracord stuff he taught me how to do the snake knot the celtic knot the button knot i think those two are the same but there's so many things the quick release bracelets everything that i know about paracord tying things i learned from the Weavers of Eternity. And I think it's pretty awesome that it's full circle. You're here on my live stream. I hope you're having a good time, man. And um, keep tying those knots, man. Keep teaching me stuff because I'm lurking. I'm in your videos. I'm, I'm lurking. And uh, I'm using the knowledge that you're bestowing on us, on me, to tie these lanyards on these awesome knives. This was the one that started it all. I don't have it on me anymore because I, I did some maintenance on it. But this was the gray Spyderco Para 3 that I tied a three snake knot knife fob onto. And I made a video about it and it took off and it, you know, it, it's it's been it's been really good The nimble T. I just flipped it finally. I think you guys have been waiting for me to flip it But look at that. There's a Seigai Ha on the main Paneling right on the frame lock mechanism, but then they decided not to do it on the pocket clip And honestly, I think it's a nice I think it's a nice contrast because then over here we got, you know, just Seigaiha and Seigaiha, right? Oh, that's, that's another nice touch here. On the tops, on the bevels, you don't have the pattern. It's only on the flat plane here, which I think adds subtle contrast to it. Not to mention the blade itself. Look at that. Full of fingerprints. And that's also the person who got this before me. Whoever that is. You in the house? The person who got this before me? <laughs> Sound off. So I can rat y'all out to Urban EDC. Look at me, I front flipped it. I front flipped it, you guys. I did it. I did it. Y'all saw it. Check this out. I'm getting better, guys. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. You remember at the beginning of this year? Or at Blade Show 1, at Blade Show Texas, I was like, frame lock. Front flip. It just wasn't happening for me. It wasn't, but. I've, uh, I've upgraded. I've gone and evolved, you guys. I've gone and evolved. I've gone Super Saiyan 2. 
I've gone Super Saiyan Blue. Ultra Instinct. Let it be known. <laughs> oh my goodness. Zero Bytes 2000 says, same. Weavers of Eternity Channel is the best of Paracord stuff. See? Everyone knows you here. You're welcome here, sir. You're welcome here. Come back anytime. Come back anytime, man. Glad I could be of service, man. You keep it up as well. I will, man. I will. I will. I look forward to seeing you on my uh, recommended to me stream. And maybe we'll do a collab one day. You know what I mean? I feel like we have a lot of overlap. You know, like over here, we have practical functions of these knots, these paracords, you know, and everything goes into account, like paracord selection, how many knots to tie, how big of a lanyard, how, how big of a knife fob do we go with, depending on the knife, right? And it's not just knives, I've used your knowledge to make zipper pulls for my, tip, my tech pouches, my backpacks. There's a lot of overlap. Let's do something. Let's do something. Best damn EDC Taylor says, Ron, you better hope I never send you a knife. It'll be all janky, dirty, no stickers, and maybe some pickled egg residue. <laughs> Hey, that's not my problem. I'm gonna open it up, see all that, and I'm gonna send it back to Urban. And I'm gonna be like, hey, uh, you better get rid of your 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 partnership with Taylor because he's over here letting your stuff rust with pickle juice sourness. Alright. <laughs> Don't be doing that. Isaiah says, there you go, the wrist flick helps, don't it? It does. The momentum for the front flick, like if you're just trying to do this, you don't nearly have as much momentum if you, as if you were to just flick it just a tad, just a tad. Okay, this is the second box. I've been talking, I've been running my mouth. This is from Three Leaf Customs. I believe this is an SFK of some kind or Karambit style fidgeter. Oh, Marina X, a member for six months, initiate level BDE. Thank you, sir. BDE to you as well, man teaching me what that means <laughs> look at that is that a lucky that's a three leaf clover very cool i like the play on like the typical four leaf clover you know what i mean but look at that number 23 is this the the addition like 23 out of such and such and then you've got the urban edc logo on the other side there you go uh, Ian Coates says, at Alpha Prime EDC, find you and X can share TikToks. You guys are sharing TikToks now? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what else are you sharing that I don't know about? What else are you sharing that I don't know about? Oh, by the way, Urban EDC, guys, there's a promotion going on. I got them to give me 20% off site wide. Do you hear that right? Like, Urban EDC is known for like limited drops, premium stuff. All you gotta do is Go and use code purpose. Go punch it in right now. Go pick out something you like. Go into your cart, pretend to check out, and in the discount gift code, type in purpose. Do it. It'll show. And when it does, then you can thank me. Because I am lying to you. It, it goes on until this weekend. I don't know exactly when it deactivates, but I think it's, it's, it's Wednesday now. So you got Thursday to think about it. You got Friday to pull the trigger. And then Saturday is fair game. I don't know if it's going to continue on through the weekend. It might just be till the weekend. So let it be known. Code purpose. 20% off. One of my mods, please type that and pin that in the chat for the people who are joining late. We got 47 viewers. But for the new people who are coming in, any mod will do. Anyone who's gracious enough, code purpose urbanedc.com. Or is it Urban EDC Supply? I think it's just Urban EDC will work. I think. Oh. Huh. Yes. Urban EDC will work. So go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Psyk78 says, what the heck? What was the black Sega Ha? It would be super sick with the DLC blade. I probably spelled Sega Ha wrong. Uh, I think you did, but that's okay. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. It was the EMP EDC Nimble T. Nimble with a Y. And you can find it on the Urban EDC website. It's there. And uh, you can get 20% off right now using Cold Purpose. Renee Ramon says pickled, picked eggs. Dude, what's up with the picked eggs? I've only ever seen them in Moe's Tavern. I don't know why they were a real thing. I, I didn't know I didn't know that was a real thing either, honestly, until you said it. And I was like, you know what? I, I don't feel one way or the other. I like pickles. I like dill pickle spears, you know? I just eat them straight up. And, uh, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> Taylor says, pickled eggs are life. Are, are they, though? You'll have to bring a jar to, to West so I can try it. I, I want to try it. <laughs> I want to try it. Ricky says, Trev! Ricky in the house. What's up, man? Good to see you, buddy. What are you up to? You editing? You chilling? 
You got your feet kicked up, your seat laid back, just enjoying enjoying the things. I got a shirt back here. I forgot I left up here. Whoops. But uh, barbecue. Wait, barbecue. <laughs> I read barbarian brawny, but then I started to read the rest of it, and then I called you barbecue. But uh, all right, I'm sure you're tasty. So. Mm. Bruh. <laughs> Mikey says, damn, that's a sick code for a disco, Ron. Exactly, exactly. Code purpose, baby. Was gonna super chat to say later, lol, but I can't compete with a 50 spot. Haha, <laughs> have a good night. Hey, Crispy Donut community, Mr. Luke, uh, thank you so much for coming through. Have a good night, man. I will catch you real soon. I got your Hanson right here, baby. I got your Blackout Sprinkle Hanson right here, baby, for all you viewers that want to check it out real quick. I think I said it before in the last chat, but the, the tip reminds me of like a swashbuckling pirate sword. Like a like a schmitar or scimitar or whatever. CDC bringing the sweetness. Oh, they sweet. You know what really is sweet? They stream six days a week, y'all. Like what? What? Six days a week. That's crazy. Uh, High Tide EDC says no blue wrench, Linky no worky. <laughs> It's all good, man. It's all good. Here, I'm gonna throw. Let's type it here. Balut is life. Who said that? Who said Balut is life? I love Balut. But then it's actually in Vietnamese culture, it's called Ho Git Long. And I love it. It's so good. Like, but it is a straight up baby duck. It, it is. It is. And, um, you know, we put a little pepper, a little salt on top, crack the shell, open it up. And there's there's like juice in there as well. Am I grossing you out? I hope I hope I am. But uh, yeah, you know you, you boil it, you know, cook it until it's good. There's a little baby duck inside. Put a little lime. Then you get a little spoon. Tap tap tap. Open it up, and then there's like you know the the sack in there. That's like the egg yolk. You eat that, and then afterwards you scoop it out, and it's like the baby duck. And then you can either just go full hog and just put the whole baby duck in your mouth. Just, you know, eat, 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 eat it up, swallow down real quick. Or you can enjoy it, savor it, hold on to it a little bit. Just, you know, start with the head. And then you, you kind of work through the body. But, uh, Blade Brigade EDC, Bruce in the house says, love me some balut. Of course you do. Of course you do. I, I counted on you to love the balut. You Pimpy says, thanks, Ron, LOL. <laughs> you Pimpy says, oops, I bought the patches. Done. Phytonics, you're welcome. See, I knew people would be into your stuff. I knew people would be into your stuff, man. Brad says, Ron, you're doing great. Love seeing all your content. Dude, I love seeing yours. Welcome back, by the way. I saw you uh, You finally got off the uh, the live stream bench. And you're back in play, dude. Keep going. Do it every week. Get better at it. You know, and each time you do a live stream, each time you do a video, you're going to figure something out. You're going to be like, oh, shh, my audio is trash. Or, oh, I've been blasting this music. Nobody can hear my voice. Oh, this lighting is terrible. I got to put the light over here and shine it this way. So each time you do it, it's going to be a little better, a little better, a little better. And pretty soon you'll be at... <laughs> Are, were, were people listening? I'm, I got the chat on delay. Were people listening to me describing Balut and throwing up <laughs> sorry guys i'm sorry it's delicious i promise you it's delicious okay trev says i try it i'll try anything there you go there you go that's the mentality you gotta adopt you know what i'm saying uh ian says ricky i suggested neves watch taylor's new vid wanted to see the sultan of sharp cringe then someone said their camera guy says i'm on everywhere <laughs> the ringer the ringer Ian's got the inside scoop everywhere. Anyone who comes to say hi at Blade West gets a pickled egg, but you have to eat it on camera. I'll do it. I, I won't promise I won't throw it up back at you, but I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm disgusted, says Isaiah. Is Isaiah the only one who's not down for Balut right now? It doesn't seem like he's down. If y'all didn't see that unboxing for a patch and didn't instantly try and cop, y'all tripping, says you, Pimpy. That's right. That's absolutely right. Blade Brigade EDC says, Bullet is better than pickled eggs. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I absolutely think so. I thought you said live stream bitch, and I kind of want that on a t-shirt now. <laughs> hey, that's kind of cool. Wait, wait, no, you should give that. Taylor, you should give that to Ricky. Ricky can wear the live stream bitch shirt sitting in the back. You know what I mean? <laughs> Make sure it's in like a high-vis orange or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> something crazy. 
Gear related says, I did my first two lives this week and still trying to get the hang of it. You did? When are you streaming, dude? I want to catch it. I'd be happy to tune in, support. You know what I mean? I didn't know you were doing the thing already. <sighs> oh my god. Taylor says, I thought you said. Oh, yeah, you said that already. Jorge Saria says, Top five knife makers. Go! Okay, that's easy. Um. Okay, it's, it's not so easy. <laughs> uh, Protech, because I love me a Protech Malibu. Look at this thing right here. This is the operator. I was kind of eyeing this since the beginning of the year. Thank Brandon EDM for that. But he has his own, and um, it's a button lock. Love the thing to death. And I, you can tell. You can see I've been using it. I've been wearing it. I've been putting it in the pocket. And I love it. Protect, they make a lot of good stuff. They're headquartered right here in California. Oh, what else? What's another good one? It depends on what kind of knife, though. Because I feel like different knife makers have different specialties. Um, I like Spyderco a lot. I would say one of my first real, quote-unquote, real knives that cost, like, three digits or more. What do you mean three digits or more? Only three digits. I ain't going four digits yet. But uh, this is the pair of three Spider Co. This is the Maximet edition, so it's not stainless, but it was gifted to me for my birthday one of these years, and I absolutely loved it. Since then, I've put some Flytanium Lotus scales on there, as well as a Lynch Northwest Stonewash Titanium Deep Carry Clip. Just because the Spider Co. stock clips are super chrome and like super shiny, too loud for my tastes. But, I mean, I love it. Look at this thing. So clean. And it was on the gray, like, flat gray G10 scales before. And so, I mean, there it is. Mia in the house? I missed you earlier if you said anything. How you doing, Mia? Good to see you. You are a mainstay up in here. You are a mainstay. Cavity Search says, Arquan, you get caught up. You get up on that CDC Salem straight fire. What is CDC Salem? Do, do we need to check this out? Oh, I probably should, like... To crispy donut community Salem. <laughs> yeah, see, it doesn't help that crispy donut community is it's CDC, so like Center for Diseases and and all that stuff. You know what I mean? It's not good. Whoa, that's crazy. Look at that grind. Come on. Oh, it, it's down here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say CDC. Let's get this website sorted out because the first thing I see is I thought a picture was gonna load right here I won't lie to you the the user experience is everything you know what I'm saying So if you want someone to buy something from you you want to make it as easy as possible So for here right now, I thought something was gonna load right here So I was like oh da 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 and I thought my internet was trash because it has been for the last few weeks And then I realized it's down here. So maybe maybe You want to mess around with that, but look at that. What is this called? Is this like a harpoon? No, it's not. Eh, maybe. But look at this beautiful compound grind. Is it right here? Somewhere? No? It looks beautiful, though. That's a three inch blade? How big is this? Oh. Three. I guess it's not terrible. It's like a medium sized knife. That's crazy though. You're right, it does look awesome. It does look awesome. We all need a Topo Malibu, says Alpha Prime EDC. Have you checked out Taylor's collab? They got a Malibu that's Topoed out. Best damn EDC Malibu. I feel like you saw this. You had to have seen it. Now where can I find it? Oh, here we go. It's carry commission, my man. Look at this thing! Oh my, oh, oh my God! And it comes in DLC? No way! DLC 20 CV. Oh my goodness! Let me know right now in the chat. Would you prefer the Damascus or the DLC? Because right now, the the olive drab, the OD green with. DLC is is a done deal for me and of course this is the Malibu this is the Protec I was telling you about oh okay I didn't answer that I didn't answer your question my bad so the five I would say I would say we got Protec we got Spyderco um I don't have a Benchmade currently but I know they, they got some good stuff 
and they're a mainstay in the knife industry. So Benchmade, um, I would say Nafs as a like super up and coming like budget EDC knife. Like they're making waves with their Lander knife. This one right here. Wow, my voice cracked like crazy just now. And then the fifth one, the fifth one, I would say. Bruh, too many. I can't commit. I'm gonna say Civivi just because I'm coming from like the knife beginner side and like I can't justify customs and limited drops and $700 knives and all that stuff. So I'm definitely of the mind that like budget EDC makers and brands can definitely get it done. It's just a matter of catering your, your knife selection to your needs. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely think those five are a great place to start. Ricky says peace out. Ricky says, all right, boys, I'm out of here. Love y'all. Take care, Ricky. Good to see you, man. Take care. Take care. Machine Machine Co. says, false edge. What do you mean? For what? Forgot my gym key. Guess I'll just run tonight, said Bruce. <laughs> oh, yikes. Yikes. Rob Nice says, just ordered from CDC today. Excellent, man. I hope you enjoy your knife. I got the hands in here. I don't have the Salem, but the Salem does look pretty fire. Get related said, what's a good laser machine cost? I have no idea. I do not own a laser. I would love to and a CNC and a 3D print machine, but I do not. Sadly, I cannot justify. But CRK is life, says Alpha Prime ADC. I'll, I'll bet it is. I'll bet it is for you. It's your financial life. Gone. <laughs> uh, we got some hype about stacks. I'm sure Ian is, is pushing that. Mine are CRK, Protect, Tactile, Arcane, and Chavez. Those are very good selections. I haven't actually handled an Arcane Designs knife myself at all, but CRK is like one of those legendary class brands, right? Everyone's like coveting the Zon, Um Noom Zon, the Inkosi, all that stuff. Protec, of course. Tactile Knife Co. is an awesome one as well. Um, I haven't, the only ones I've handled from Tactile are the Bear and uh, the Rock Wall and then the Maverick. But I, I was like all right with the Maverick. I think because I had that, I had the uh, the super light micarta one and then it was like, it was bending a lot. The tolerance was getting kind of, uh, this was during Blade, Texas. Hi, Tide EDC says, at Ian Coates, because you're a real one, I must get a Staxology, a Staxology on the secondary. Nice. The, Stax, the Staxology, why can't I say that? The Staxology patch is actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool. It's like, a woven patch that has like high viz underneath. It's layered up. It's pretty sick. Oh, let's see. Best tech Riot. Oh, dude. I hear Riot like manufactures like 50% of all knives out there. <laughs> They're like the OEM. Rosie is the new Zon, says Brad. Yeah, I wish. I wish. Oz. Oz Knife Company or Oz Knives. I'm an, I'm here. I am putting the banter in my Carter as top tier. I mean, the banter's a solid knife, bro. Like getting into EDC in general and, and being a knife beginner, getting into it, the banter's where it's at. The wee banter, the Civivi baby banter, like all that stuff is good times. And then I think the next iteration of that was Naf's Lander because Ben Peterson worked on the banter and the baby banter with Civivi alongside them. And I think that was just the evolution of that. And now we have the lander. And then we also have the Urban EDC Sagaiha exclusive lander with M390. And uh, this is a sub 200 M390 with interchangeable scales. That's the beauty of the lander. It's uh, It's got interchangeable scales that you don't need to take apart the entire knife to change out the scales. And the scales are open source. So anyone can get their hands on the CAD, design their own, have them made, all that stuff. But I love me some stone wash, some black washed M390. Like, is this stone wash or is it DLC? It is stone washed. No, -uh, I don't know. But it's M390. And the typical lander is uh, D2. Gear related, Cole says, all right, guys, I'm out. Have a great night and stream, everyone. Thank you, Cole, for coming through. It was great to hang out with you again. Take care. See you next Wednesday, dude. Rosie is good, but it'll never be the Zon, says Taylor. I haven't, okay, I'll be real. I've handled Brandon's Zon and it was very difficult to open. Like, and maybe it was because of my ignorance at the time or just like unskilled hands. But 
I handled his brother Balin's Rosie, and it was beautiful. It was effortless. There was a double detent, right? That's the that's the standout feature of the Rosie, and the action is just so smooth. Like the the lever action of it is just. That's what knives sound like. <laughs> but it was great. It was great. So I think if it were if it were posed as a choice for me to get an Oz Rosie or or a Zon, it would be the Rosie hands down but i think they're differently priced right they're they're at different price points trev says he wants a chris reeve in kosi never seen them for sale are you talking about in kosi or in yoni what's an in yoni is that another thing ian says i knew i love taylor for a reason let's go let's go zon gang <laughs> Rob Nice says, oh man, I just got a wee banter dessert warrior today. Dropped my first Unreal on un uh first real unboxing video on YT. Love me some sweetness. Nice, man. I never personally, I never got into like the dessert warrior stuff, like the super pink and the light blue and the sprinkles and all that. It's just not my vibe. I'm more like, you know, blacked out, minimal, clean aesthetics kind of thing. Like even with the band, like the the Hansen, you know what I mean? I like, like this is the only variant of the Hansen. I would even consider just because it's all blacked out. I get the sprinkles are there and I probably will never see a donut of this variety all blacked out. Like what kind of taste would that be? Like <laughs> it could be like black licorice tasting, but uh, needless to say, yeah, dessert warrior is not for me. Ian says, love, 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 love my Zon. Hell yeah, man. I'm glad you know what you love. Just because for, for me, I'm not convinced. At least maybe until like I do more due diligence and you know, I hang out with y'all a little more and you get me into it. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> Lander is a great second carry, says Renee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good pick for sure. And if you can bolster it with some sort of like, you know, upgraded steel like M390, the, the Urban EDC variant. By the way, use code PURPOSE for 20% off. That goes until Saturday, guys. That's it. I think it goes till Saturday. It goes till the weekend. So if you want to save some money, that's a good time. Zon is a man maker, says Taylor. Whatever. Weavers of Eternity says, I need a Tonto Zon. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. So well, so what knife fob would you tie on a Tonto Zon? That's what I want to know. Oh my God, Anthony Diaz with a $50 super chat. If you don't like and subscribe, I will come for all of you foos in the comments. Much love, Ron, keep at it. Anthony Diaz, the Fidget King, the Thock Master, the Alt F des Designer. I, I'm out, I'm out of things. But I got him right here, brother. I got him right here, the Alt Fs, the Thocky Boys. Got the honey pot, got the portal variant. I love them both. I got I got a special place in my heart for this one. You know that. But dude, I how's how's uh how's R and D going, brother? Anthony, thank you again for the super chat, man. It's thanks to the support like you are doing right now for me that allows me to keep doing what I'm doing, doing what I love for these guys in the chat and you. So thank you so much. I will keep on pushing, but only if you promise me that you will keep on pushing. How's R and D, man? I know you're working on something special, something new. And we can't, Pixico, we can't wait to see it. We can't wait to see it. For those of you who don't know, Anthony is the mastermind behind Pixel Co. Who is then the mastermind of these little clickety clackety boys. Pixel Poppy. Yeah, there you go. Ian says, you forgot Pixel Poppy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just going off the cuff here. <laughs> but yeah, man. Anthony says, Ron, it's going well. Keep an eye out. Hell yeah, man. He, hell yeah, man. Looking forward to it. My mailbox is always open. <laughs> so is my door, man. Come on through. Hit me up. Call me anytime. We don't judge you, Pimpy. What is you, Pimpy, saying? Is he going to get the band hammer right now? <laughs> uh, JSASL says, should I buy a Kaiser Drop Bear or wait for the new Lander 2? It depends on what you want. Because the Drop Bear is honestly like... Okay, so here's a fun fact for you. They're both Kaiser. Like the Lander 2 is Kaiser OEM. So the axe, it's not axis lock. It's like, what is it called? Uh, uh, there's a name for it. Kaiser crossbar lock, but like clutch lock. So Kaiser has their own proprietary clutch lock system. And it's the same as that. It's the axis lock that Benchmade has that allows you to unlock your knife. So both the drop bear and the Lander 2 have that lock in its mechanism and they're both designed by kaiser so you're essentially getting the same vehicle with two distinct body works if that makes any sense but 
Uh, have a drop air. I love the action on it. It's smooth butter right out the box. Throw a drop or two of KPL on there and it's it's going to be super smooth. The Lander 2, however, is the version 2 of the original Lander. I got much love for Lander. It's a, it's a freaking... It is a workhorse, and if you haven't checked out Best Damn EDC Taylor's video, he worked very hard on that. He sweated over it. He sweated a lot and made weird noises about it. But uh, he finally got it done just under 20 minutes where he hard use tested the crap out of his lander. It's a shame you didn't do it for the lander too, dude. I, I mean, like, I, I feel like you should have called up Ben and been like, man, I'm doing... I'm doing this lander dirty. Send me a lander too so I can do it dirty as well and make more weird noises. But he tested the hell out of it and and it is it is a workhorse. It's a very awesome second carry as Renee said and pointed out earlier. But I would say you're good with either choice. I think maybe come down it comes down to price. I don't know how much the lander 2 is gonna MSRP for. And I know maybe the drop air is, I think it's low hundreds for the drop air, low hundreds something. But I think it comes down to your your tastes and, and what you're gonna be using the knives for. You know what I mean? If you're doing like Amazon Warrior or something else. But can't go wrong, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Clutch lock, high tide, EDC says yes. Sorry man, the chat is just delayed and all that. Tonto Zan would have to get two snake knots, a samurai bead, and a double snake knot finisher. Ooh, Weavers of Eternity. Do you know, whenever you like give a suggestion live, I think this is the second time you've done it, where like you came onto the live stream and I asked you for a recommendation and you gave your recommendation, it feels like I'm getting like like a prophecy read to me you know what i mean <laughs> it feels like it feels like you're you're going into your like annals of wisdom and pulling out like a prophecy for me to fulfill with one of my knives is that too is that too dramatic <laughs> dude i love it man thank you for the recommendation i appreciate it High Tide EDC says new knives as of late are the Scout F3, the Scout 2.5, the Lander, the CDC Hansen, the Salem, and a Mini Elementum. There's a Mini Elementum? I had to check that out. All right, we're we gonna check that out. CVV Mini Elementum? Because isn't the Elementum like relatively medium size already? Slightly smaller? Oh, no way. That thing is. Oh, I've seen that. I thought you meant like. Like like small this is like novelty mini like it's mini to the point where it's like humorous but i mean it, it'll get the job done that thing is that that blade length is smaller than a zippo <laughs> that hundred dollar bill is photoshopped <laughs> i don't know if you can tell but oh yeah that hundo is is no, uh, it's fake. <laughs> I was trying to find something to rhyme. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Damn it. And it comes in only like two colors. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Anthony with another $10 super chest that says, What's in your pockets? Or was in your pockets? I missed it if you showed it, foo. Um, alright, man. Since you called me out, we're gonna do it real quick. So, I have been honestly carrying the squiddy al and this just dropped today and it sold out in four minutes say hi hi but <laughs> basically it's squid industries newest trainer ballet song trainer and this one's milled out of like solid aluminum and this kind of fits the the in between for their like super budget level squiddy a and then they have a medium tier like maco collection that comes in at like a hundred bucks starting and so this one is going to be roughly around 85 90 i think was what an msr paid for but it adds a nice weight to it and i've been keeping it in the pocket just to kind of practice and get better at the flipping just because i want to do things with it and uh you know uh, 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 uh. get better at it you know what i mean so gotta stay consistent um i've been rocking this I've been rocking this like $1 pen and uh, you laugh, you laugh because this is an EDC channel, an EDC live stream, but this Pentel Energel Kuro pen is four for five bucks, but it's a roller ball and it writes like a freaking dream. It really does. It uses the Energel refill and I have, you know, it's funny, I have like a custom pen and I try to retrofit the, the cartridge inside with a Pentel Energel refill and sadly it didn't fit, just didn't work out. But I have a pack of them there and now this I can refill it with this. But it's so smooth and I like rollerball pens because the blacks are more black 
the the liquid ink is just so much more smooth than a ballpoint in my personal opinion so i've been rolling with this my wallet is of course the reform carry 02 the card holder that hasn't changed as much as I want to swap out my wallet every day, it's just not practical and I find myself losing cards and stuff. So I got that in the pockets as well. And uh, yeah, I got my smartphone in my back pocket. I'm also rolling with, I'm also rolling with uh, this MicroStream flashlight. It's between, it's between this and the Rovivon A7. I really enjoy that one, but this one's just sleek. Rechargeable, USB micro B, unfortunately. But as soon as I come out with a USB-C model, it's gonna be right up in there, right up in there. And of course, I got this in the pockets. I always have this in the pockets, dude. I'm surprised it's not like worn in already. The Alt F Honey Pot, got some clicky boys inside. You got that honeycomb milling, it says pixel there. And this is the Ashy AF finish, your exclusive finish. Love me some Alt F Honey Pot, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Chris Valdez says, I had to let the dogs out. What did I miss? You missed a lot, brother. You missed a lot. Nah, you didn't miss anything, man. We're just hanging out. I got pocket checked. Uh, we're talking about uh, a mini Elementum. I thought it was uh, I thought it was real, but it's actually a joke. No, <laughs> it's, it's mini, but it's really mini. So it's like novelty size. It's not like, you know, lander size or anything like that. I thought it was like, you know, small, but still. <sighs> Robert. Ray Known says, what's up, everyone? What's up, Robert? It's always nice to see a new face, right? I haven't seen you. I don't think I've seen you in the chat or you've just been lurking. But definitely good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well, Robert. Thank you for joining us. We're just chilling tonight. You know, we got about nine minutes left. I got a hard stop at 8 p.m. PDT. But, uh, you know, I know you East Coasters got to go to bed. You know, we're, we're right in the middle of the Purpose Fit fit challenge it's week two we're doing our thing we're working on our goals mine is uh to keep a consistent schedule get my eight hours seven eight hours of sleep as best i can because sleep is uh very important if you're trying to do anything with your body you're trying to lose weight trying to gain muscle you're trying to maintain a healthy body sleep is definitely dude i read this book where like you know if you just get one hour less than normal you start you start messing up like it'll you'll you think that one hour is no problem and you'll just get restored over time but you actually can develop a huge amount of sleep debt just from sleeping one hour less than normal and that's like we're talking seven or six hours you know what i mean like it's not it's not good for you at all so i try to get it as much as i can and uh you know keep doing the thing i forget what i was even saying but <laughs> Martin JBS says big eye design slim bolt action with energy refills had been my go-to until I had to switch to ballpoint for work Oh, you had to switch That's crazy. I mean, I don't know what you do man But like I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised if 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 the industry calls for it, but that sucks that work told you To switch the ballpoint. That's rough That's probably it's probably because it bled through the pages didn't it a little bit like you have to have the right notebook like I have here you know what's funny? I was gifted a super old moleskin, and uh, you know I've been using it, but I'm near the end of it, and um, I usually stick to Loistrum or like any number of, like Rhodia or like other like Japanese notebooks, just because the paper quality, the stationary quality is just it's a chef's kiss. Anthony again with another ten. You pick your gear based on what mood or just what's easy to grab um so i tailor my gear to thank you by the way for the ten dollar super chat you are so the hell out of this live stream right now thank you sir i pick my gear based on my needs so it depends on what i'm doing that day the majority of the time it's flexible because that day i'm in the studio recording filming editing and that's here at home so usually i don't have much in my pockets but let's say that day i got a day trip out with my la my little one and we're going to eat lunch or something then you know i'll pack what i need to get the job done and that includes like a daddy day pack that includes things that i need uh with me you know either in the car or to tend to the little one or what have you you know what i mean if i'm going on a weekend trip to go golfing with the boys you know that loadout will look a little different or if I'm going to the grocery store and I'm wearing super athletic shorts that don't fit a lot of stuff, that loadout would look a little different as well. So once I knock out the purpose part of it, then I get into aesthetics. Because for me, you know, I'm not bushcrafting, I'm not doing crazy specialized things. So, you know, 
I can preserve the look and feel of my gear a lot better than all, some of the people out there. And so that's why, you know, I pay that little extra attention to aesthetics looks like, for example, like a blacked out kit would look something like, you know what I'm saying? Like easy, right? All matte black, simple, clean. And then, you know, you got me, you got me some honey pot goodness. You know what I mean? All ultimate, right? So, you know, it, it has its, its place. So... That's how I pick my gear, man. I go purpose first, and then I and then I go aesthetics, matching, and stuff like that. But it doesn't have to. You know, sometimes I'll walk out with just my keys, my wallet, and a knife. Just because, like, I gotta get out the door. Can't be bothered to, like, fully kit myself with, like, a wrench and a multi-tool and a bit. You know, like, I feel like all those for, for, for me, doing things as long as I have in my own personal way and routine, I have in my mind organized an essential bag and then a secondary bag, a specialized bag, you know what I mean? Like, I know I can get by 90% of most things with these essentials, and that's keys, wallet, knife, phone. Those are my, those are my four, okay? I don't need a fidget, I don't need a pen most of the time, I don't need a flashlight most of the time. But if I want to make a complete collection, then that's when I would add the secondary bag, you know, and make a complete quote-unquote loadout. Ian says, ask Ron, someone asked Ron an ultimate question. Let's go. I did my research. Anthony with another $10 super chat. Oh my God, you're lying to my wallets, man. Okay, last one, I promise. If you walk out your house right now, what music or playlist would you throw on the AirPods? I'm listening to funk right now. Like P-H-O-N-K, just straight up like hardcore, like lifting music. Like I've been working out a lot, so I've been playing all that. And um, I th I thank you, Ricky. Ricky's not even in the house, but... Uh, Ricky sent me this, just this legit playlist on Spotify. Let me see if I can find it. I'll leave y'all with this, but it's dope. Can I log in? Get this thing? But I've been really into it, and it's just like good beats. If you go on Instagram trending audio, like a quarter of the tracks are in this style. And uh, god damn it, I don't even know what my login is. Can you believe that? The Weavers of Eternity says that Ultim OTF is sick, dude, right? It's not even mine, it's just a loner, I'm just messing with it. But the Microtech Ultratech, double edge. This thing is like three something inches. I can't even carry it in California, so I'm just squarely messing with it. I'm just playing around with it. I'm gonna send it right back, just because it's it's very illegal. <laughs> but it's classified as a switchblade, and in California, you have to have two inches or less to get that going, unfortunately. So, uh, let's go. Uh, that's not it. I'm gonna leave this link. Cause I feel like, I feel like if y'all are trying to work out and stuff. Oh my lord. Okay, you know what? I can't find it right now. I don't want it to be a dead live stream for the last bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Weavers, you you said something back here. You said, lol, you're making me sound like a paracord Nostradamus or something, bro. You are! <laughs> you freaking are, man. Hey, I didn't even see Brandon. Brandon says, Taylor, will F me. Did you mean to put that apostrophe between the W and the E? Because there's a difference between Taylor, comma, well, F me. Or Taylor, comma, will F me. Like, we'll F me together. Like, what did you mean? <laughs> because those are very different results and outcomes, okay? You can't be telling everybody that. He's gonna go on his short walk. Take it easy, brother. Get your fitness in. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Ron, I was trying to Facebook call you to crash your live to show Pixel Poppy his greatest creation in collab with CXG Mark Boz. Dude, you've been taking so many photos of that. We good. We know what that looks like. We know what that looks like. Show it off on your live stream, man. <laughs> we about to close it out anyway. We about to close it out anyway. Robert says he lives for the funk. Yes. Oh, Ian says funk is drifting music. Man, that's cool. Drifting, lifting, rhymes, man. As long as it rhymes, we good. As long as it rhymes, we good. Brandon High Tide says I'd rather pick up an Ulta Microtech from Chris Valadez, though, working on selling pieces to make room for the new stuff. Dude, it is, this is from House of Blades, by the way. So if you are interested in this, Microtech, Ultra Tech. You can go over to House of Blades, use code PURPOSE, and Chris Valdez himself, the man, 
he's gonna hook it up. He's gonna take good care of you, all right? So go ahead, go to House of Blades, check out their wares. They're based out of Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth. They're the nicest group of people I've ever like met at a convention before, like ever. Like I walk in there and they're just super nice, like, it's intimidating walking into a freaking log cabin of just knives and swords and things, but the staff is super helpful. You have questions, they'll ask. And you know, it's it's all good. It's all good. And Chris, he's been he's been holding my hand, helping me out from day one. So Chris, I thank you. I enjoy our conversations about anime and kicks and Air Jordan ones. But uh <laughs> Chris Valdez will take care of you. How to play its cold purpose. Use that thing, do your thing. Anthony says, it was so good, I went into my own lotto. <laughs> Talking about the Mark Bassa exclusive. Can't believe you got one, man. The Weaver says, two inches less, that's what she said. That, yeah. Apparently in California. Well, apparently in California, it's, oh yeah, it's illegal unless it's two inches or less. Uh, 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 silly nuts in the house? Letty! I haven't seen you in a minute. How you doing, Letty? Good to see you, good to see you. What the F is funk? Says Silly Nugs. It's Drift Music. Just look it up. Just look it up. Go to YouTube Music. Go to Spotify. Just look up funk. Look up Tokyo Drift Funk. There you go. I'm gonna do that right now. And link you. And leave. Tokyo Drift Funk. Will I get, uh, do you think I'll get, like, demonetized if I play it on stream? Probably, huh? I probably will. Alright, you know what? I won't do it. I won't do it. Is this the right one, though? Alright, whatever. What? Uh, I don't know if it's the right one though. It might be different. I'm gonna go ahead and post it, and then you let me know if it is. And if it's not, it is what it is. <laughs> Live with purpose, Bally song. Who said that? Anthony, who said that? I would love a Live with Purpose Bally song. I gotta hit up Squid Industries. I've been talking to them for a minute now. I'm trying. I've been trying to get good. This is why I got the ultimate one because I was like, "Ooh, ultimate it speaks to me." And I'm like practicing. I'm trying to get my flips down. And like, you know, the last few blade shows I've gone to, like, I've done the flips. I've done the things and and trying to get better at it. And uh, you know, it's just it's just a matter of time. You know what I mean? One day I'm gonna hit up Squid and be like, "Hey, let's do something. Let's do something." <laughs> I, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, let's see. What are we doing here? Chris is the man, says All American Baker Ben, and he is. He is, sir. Make sure you spell his name without the H, though, because his name is actually Cristobal. I love it. I love it. We will get Ron to sign all the Ultimate Microtech for you guys. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Am I a celebrity now, Chris? I'm not a celebrity. Don't do that to me. Don't put me on a pedestal like that. If I get like a shipment of like a ton of Ultimate stuff and like. 20 sharpies. I'm gonna give you a call. I'm gonna be like, what? What is this, bro? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, you pimpy says, hey, Ron, can you explain what the chase looks like on the patch that you unboxed earlier? I don't know which one the chase is, dude. I haven't, I haven't, I'm not sure, but I feel like it's this one. It looks like this. So this is uh, the escape patch from Mr. Ian Phytonics over on Instagram. Phytonics, P-H-I-T-O-N-I-C-S. And he just released this RE today, I believe. And this is the chase. He's got like a dawn, a dusk, and this is like the twilight variant. Those are just my personal like names that I've just given it to him because that's what I that's what I feel like they look like. But yeah, dude. That's what it looks like. It's like monochrome, it's like a grayish, purplish vibe. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it, I like it. Interesting how fu is fu and funk is funk. Yeah. Says hi tight ADC. Yeah. I mean, we live we live in 2023. Ian says, live with purpose, XCRK. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I can't personally vet it. I'm too much of a beginner. Like, it, it would have to take like a decade. Let's put a decade of knife handling behind me, and then and then we'll, I'll talk to Mr. Reeves himself. <laughs> live with Ultim. L L W A L W U just doesn't roll the same way <laughs> as live with live with purpose. You gotta roll the R. Cristobal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's the blind bag. Oh, says Phytonics. Ooh, there it is. That's the blind bag. I love when you add some excitement to it. I'm trying to figure out how to like sneak chases into like my live with purpose stuff. Like my patches, my REs, just because like the way it works is like 
you know, you have to order like a certain amount of REs when you do a drop, right? And so I would love to do like every 15 of them. I'll throw in a chase just for you guys to get something special. For some of you guys to get something special, you know what I mean? But I would have to order the same amount of the chase. And then like, I don't wanna like give y'all a chase, make it extra special and then later sell the chase separately. You know what I mean? So I'm left with like a bunch of extra chases that if I were to give them away, it would uh, diminish the value of the original chases that I gave away in the drop. So I think I gotta mess around with like the MOQs and stuff and figure out like, okay, if I get 100 or something, can I get 20 or something? Or if I get 200 or something, can I get 30 or something? So that is what I'm trying to get to, but. So many of people in the chat have already like made their own REs. I love it. Like people are people are taking the opportunity to get creative with it, get something crazy happening, you know what I mean? Something good happening. Like hell yeah, you know what I mean? All right, y'all. It is 805 PDT. Thank you guys for sticking around this long. I hope you guys had fun on this live stream. I had a blast interacting with all of y'all. I hope you guys have a great one uh, this weekend. We got something coming out. Uh, I'm trying to do long forms every week now just to make it consistent, have something new. I hope you guys enjoyed that Ultim video that I dropped. Let me know what kind of feedback you have in the comments on that video. I won't, you know, I won't bother screening it here just because you guys can watch it on your own time. No worries. But uh, more stuff coming out real soon, real soon. And, uh, you know, I'm open to hearing your suggestions. So if you guys have any ideas for, for things you want to see in the future, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the DMs. Whatever, man. I'm, I'm, I am your resource. Instagram, at Live With Purpose EDC. YouTube, here, Ron Quag. If you guys are interested in knives, we've got Code Purpose at House of Blades. Chris Valdez, hook you up, take care of you. And over at Urban EDC, we got Code Purpose as well for 20% off until the weekend. So make sure you on that, okay? Thank you guys so much. Live With Purpose. Peace.